Ladies and gentlemen, it's that time again. Time for the show. Uh, it's that Bitcoin show with your hosts, Euclid and Oaks. I'm Crypto Euclid. And I'm Mystical Oaks. Yay. <laughs> Let's start it. Let's start the show. All right. Today, 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 so much crazy shit going on. Let's that do- music makes me want to wear like short shorts and I don't know, do roller skate. Yeah, roller skate. Okay, you can do that. The price of Bitcoin right now is $9,100 roughly on coin market cap. Bitcoin dominance is sitting at 63.9%. <laughs> Thank you for giving me permission to uh, wear short shorts and roller skates. That's really... You're welcome, honey bunny. Nice of you. (laughs) You're welcome. A lot of crazy shit is going on. We have a pandemic on the precipice. Really? Which, by the way... You're going to spread fear? That is today's secret word. Today's secret word is precipice. That was two days ago. Could you spell that? No. (laughs) Precipice. (laughs) P-I-S-S. I know it ends in P-I-S-S. <laughs> as in piss. Right. Okay. Um, what? Oh, that was delayed. Uh, as in piss. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, there's, a, there's that pandemic thing happening. Uh, Bitcoin dumped pretty dramatically the dow crashed yeah there's a pandemic happening everyone's panicking but they're not really yet which is weird not everyone's panicking there's like some people panicking and some people like just going on with daily life except for now they're washing their hands which is hopefully but Mm -hmm. probably not really i mean who are we kidding they're probably not right washing your hands and not touching your face or cash or dirty, dirty yeah. cash. Yeah, the World Health Organization advised people to wash their hands, duh, and stop using cash if possible. Uh, li- latest things <laughs> that happened in the world of cryptocurrency that I noted, because there's lots of shit that I, you know, I can't keep track of everything. Some crazy yeah. shit happened with uh, Justin Sun and um, CZ. I wrote CJ, but it's CZ. <laughs> you have CJ on the on the brain? Yeah. Hostile takeover of <laughs> hey, Steam CJ. by CZ. Hi, CJ. We saw you in Vegas. That was fun. Yeah. Hostile takeover of Steam by Steam it by C, CZ and Justin Sun. Uh, they used like the staked tokens on their exchange to like do this hostile takeover thing. I think since then, uh, CZ or Justin, I can't recall, uh, basically said oops or something and, and <laughs> undid it. So he's saying that's not what happened. But at one point he was even claiming that the, uh, the, the community members that were also like voting and stuff. And I don't know how this shit works. God damn it. I don't know how all this staking and voting and community and decentralization of, of projects works. But anyway, uh, the community was like reacting and trying to prevent this hostile takeover. But then uh, CZ or Justin was calling them hackers. And it was a whole thing. There's drama and blah, blah, blah. But I think it's blown over now. I don't fucking know. Don't, wow. Don't listen to this show for facts. Okay? Yeah. This is for entertainment only. <laughs> uh, also, I want to do a quick shout out to our friend Neko Z for sending us uh, a noble five mouse. And I love it. And thank you. And I've been using it for two or three weeks now and it's fun and i love it and it yeah, works great it's cool it's looking w- too way better than my amazon basics mouse well yeah i'm sure um, hopefully a lot 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 better elon musk tweeted about dogecoin having the be- or, or basically dogs having the best coin and oh. everyone obviously interprets that as saying is is elon musk saying that dogecoin is the best wow. so that's kind of cool um what else is going on um that's probably all i took notes on so (laughs) (laughs) that being said uh that was a lot i think it's there this episode is mostly going to focus on fupas (laughs) this is our fupa episode (laughs) ladies and gentlemen how long can we talk about fupas for fupas are the hit new thing oh uh people with fupas are loud and proud and the best way to show off your fupa is with mom jeans oh 
And wow. that brings me to what do you call mom jeans that dudes wear? It's not mom jeans, dad jeans? Um, no, it's a dude wearing mom jeans. Right. Uh, so if you have a if you have a fupa, be loud, be proud, and and show the world your fupa. Oh, I disagree. I think don't show the fupa. But the best way to do it would probably be with some kind of like clear plastic pant mm, at the top. That's a good idea. You know, like some kind of cutout up there. You could also bedazzle your fupa area, which will help. Also, it will bring attention to it to the fupa fupa area. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just make a movie? Um, I want to talk about our friend Sanity and his new podcast. Wait, wait. We have what? a friend whose birthday is today, I think. Oh, shit. A lot of money's yeah. birthday. Happy birthday. A lot of money. We love Yay. you. Uh, I hope you're safe out there in France. France. Yeah. Uh, Sanity has a cool new podcast. I want to tell you guys about it. It's called It's... It's a virtual podcast reality show. No, it's called It's Virtually a Podcast, <laughs> and it's really cool. It actually takes place in the virtual world, so guys, check that out. You can find his podcast on his Twitter, and or you can go to It's VRA Podcast. That's on cool. Twitter. I saw you watching that. I was that chatting, and I've been invited to participate via VR because we have a VR. We have a Lenovo Explorer VR headset. Well, we don't. Our son does. So. Well, I have it now. <laughs> right. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to see if I can get it all worked out because I have to download a, a thing, like big screen program and play with it. But if I get it worked out, well, then we might be in the virtual audience of the show next Monday when he does that. Wow. So that's fun. Um, that is a good way to not spread the coronavirus. Yeah, that's true, to meet virtually. Right. Uh, I was going to make fun of something, but it... Well, anyway, there's this thing that mm. I, I saw some kind of tweet. I don't know who or what it's about, but they are, and I want to say they're selling parcels inside a virtual world. Yeah, they've done that for a long, long time. Really? Oh, yeah. I that, mean, I just stumbled into this um, VR Twitter, so I'm new to that. Well, but yeah. before it was VR, there was like a thing called Second Life. Right. And you could buy virtual property. It was a big deal. Okay. Um, another shout out to our good friend, Shitcoin Sherpa. We were just on mm -hmm. his new podcast, yeah, The Crypto Life. That was fun. And you can uh, listen to that episode. Uh, go to his Twitter account, Shitcoin Sherpa. Got Been Sherpa. friends with Sherpa f since the beginning. Since like forevers. He's our old school OG homie. <laughs> um, what else? Anything else going on? Um, pew, well, pew, pew. Uh, what? what was that? That's me thinking out loud. Oh, okay. All right. Well, you mean you mentioned Elon Musk, and mm -hmm. that reminded me of something I also read too, mm -hmm. which is, let's see, I don't know that much about it. Some famous Japanese billionaire, yeah, Yusaku. Mm -hmm. He w had some kind of reality show mm -hmm. where he was looking for a girlfriend to take on his voyage around the moon with Elon Musk, SpaceX. Mm -hmm. So that was a reality show, but he just pulled out of it some for some reason i don't even know why but that was a reality show where this guy was gonna <laughs> bring his girlfriend around. he was looking for a girlfriend oh to bring oh right oh and you, you, right you could win a spot as his girlfriend to go into space you yes <laughs> oh, that's interesting i mean i don't know who wants to do that but that is interesting that was apparently a thing so um Let's see what other things that I have pulled up here. Oh. My mind is one place only right now. What? And that's like prepping. Yeah, I'm going to uh, click on the thing here and see if I, there's anything else. I was doing some research on mm -hmm. how to forage, forage if necessary. Yes. And I realized we're fucked. Yeah, we're screwed. Yeah, because... The first thing I read here is foraging advocate mm -hmm. Christopher McCandless, mm -hmm. who wrote books on this thing. Mm -hmm. He actually died in the Alaskan wilderness after being weakened by a poisonous plant. Ew. So if someone who writes books on the topic right. dies from that, then I feel like I'm fucked. Okay, I have a. I, I agree, and I'm, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna circle back around. I gotta wrap up the crypto oh, talk and oh, news. Okay. I got one last thing I want to talk about. Um, it's where um, 
Buffett. Uh-huh. He had the lunch, the dinner with Justin's son, right? Did that ever happen? Yes, it did. Now, oh. listen to him talking about this. I thought it was kind of funny how he, like, describes the, the, the thing. Okay. Let's see if it'll play Did here. Justin's son change your mind on cryptocurrency? <laughs> For anybody who doesn't know, Justin's son bought the dinner or the lunch that you just had from the last Glide Foundation fundraiser. He is actively involved in Bitcoin. Um, after that meeting... His PR people put out some notes saying that, you know, you kind of listen to cryptocurrency and maybe you're a little more in tune with the idea of Bitcoin now. Well, I would say this. When Justin and four friends came, they behaved perfectly and we had a good three and a half hour dinner and the whole thing was a very friendly exchange of ideas. But So that right there is what I want to discuss. He talks about the Justin's son and his four friends and they behaved mm -hmm. perfectly. As if like they're not like on his level of humanness, like he expected them to not behave or something. Like I don't know why he brought up the point like they behaved perfectly. Do you know what I'm saying? Like isn't that an odd thing to say? Uh, like commenting on their behavior. Well, is he not just an odd guy? He's like a hundred years old, but right. this is so, Warren Buffett. I mean, I expect odd behavior from really old men. I just thought it was funny <laughs> that he's like he he and his four friends came and they behaved perfectly as if he assumed crypto people don't behave or something. Well, Is that maybe um, it, what it was? Do a lot of crypto people behave? I mean, no. Okay. So I kind of see his point, but I kind of <laughs> felt like, you know, it, it kind of like made me think of the movie um, They Live where there's like lizard people everywhere and, you know, the Warren Buffett and all those people are like the lizard people and they're like, you know, yeah, they kind of, they behaved and they stayed, you know, in their place or whatever. I don't know. Okay. That's what I thought. <laughs> uh, what else? I think, and then we're going to get on the prepping and all okay. that stuff. Anything else? Tamara? No, I'm I told looking. you where my mind is at. I'm like a, a one track mind. I will okay. too, you know. So, uh, sex and prepping. Oh my God, really? That's all you can think about? <laughs> That's it. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> Are you satisfied in the sex department? Okay, let's just go to prepping. Are you? Yeah. Tell the people. Yes. Everything's good. It's all great. Okay. Well, I mean, it's all great. It's not like. That didn't, I didn't no, I'm blushing. Oh, okay. You made me blush. So it's good. It's very good. Very good. Well, that's nice, but let's move on to prepping. You're the one who brought it up. <laughs> I just said I had a one-track mind that made me think of, you know, well, it's two-track, two, two okay. track mind. So or we were talking about this this morning, and I wish we just had, like, the mics on us in bed. Because, I know. Uh, not sex. We're talking about the, <laughs> the, um, the impending doom that is about to uh, oh my gosh. happen. Oh, my gosh. I was just talking to you about the. Are you are you the billboard guy with the the end is nigh? No, I think we're gonna sandwich board. we're gonna survive and everything. But I'm just like I I, I just feel like it's gonna get pretty bad. And our our 20 year old son was telling this telling us this like a month ago, and we yeah. were like, yeah, it's probably gonna be all right. And then, but I just the longer this thing goes on, and the more I see it, I just get I'm getting a little bit more worried. And we were discussing the fact that um, it would not be wise for the governments to overly prepare us for a, a, a pandemic because we still need like the workers to show up at Walmart and the grocery stores and we still need the police to do their job and the fire department, firemen and the doctors to show up. We can't be like, you can't shut down everything and just say everyone stay home. Uh, because um, well, I don't think there's a I mean who knows what the best way I mean I'm sure people have their opinions on what the best way to handle that is but because how else but do you the prevent masks are sold out right you yeah. can't get masks so if if someone were to say you should be stocking up on food then it seems like yeah I mean look at the toilet paper selling out there's a there's a big toilet paper shortage right well my, my <laughs> point is like you, the, the only way to effectively stop the spread of a, a virus like this is to tell everyone to stay home but you can't do that you can't tell everyone to stay home because the we still have to function because right. if no one goes to work then well, how is how are the shelves going to get stocked how are we you know how you just you can't so I don't know. I'm just, uh, and then, so I think it's going to spread like it's already spreading like crazy. And I think some shit's going to happen. And I think we should all at least be somewhat prepared. I think crypto Twitter or crypto people in general are, are 
over or generally like I think more of the prepper side of the uh, the the um, spectrum. I think a lot of people that are into crypto and stuff are already you know. Uh, I think we're going to be okay. As my point, the crypto nerds, right. but um, I don't know. I think the general public right now isn't really overly um, prepared or. I don't know, think they... so. How 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 can you be prepared? Like, you're supposed to have, I guess, what ninety days, like a three month supply of food and supplies. Right. So, do you think we do? Do you think we do? <laughs> I mean, you know, I I think that if this if the shit went down, we would be able to survive, and not just because like we have so much food uh, stockpiled, which we don't have an over um, overly exorbitant amount. I don't I don't know that we have enough to last 90 days probably not i don't think the average person you know does or even the average crypto nerd has that much food but i think if it really got bad that you know i think we'd be okay yeah with my survival skills with you all your wonderful sur- well, give, give me one um <laughs> i was just thinking that like um i don't know i was joking with you too how art imitates life yeah. No, life imitates art. That's what it is. Right. And it's crazy how all the, like the movie, The Stand and like all these zombie movies and stuff, it just seems like that's really big in popular culture. And it just feels to me like this is actually going to happen. I don't know. I could be wrong and I hope I'm wrong. Yeah. I mean, we're better to be prepared. So I think uh, you should be prepared and that's the point. Um, but not go crazy and buy everything out or yeah you know like that that's probably the thing with the masks like the the doctors and stuff don't have them you know or having a hard time getting them is because people are hoarding and i don't think that's a good idea but i think it's a good idea to have some basic supplies saved up you know canned food and whatnot and plenty of toilet paper (laughs) uh is there anything else my love oh my gosh no i mean no no Mm -mm. okay well until next time uh thanks for listening to that bitcoin show we are euclid and oaks i'm trying to find the outro music yeah um probably gonna seal our bubble yeah we're gonna start getting into lockdown mode uh not gonna be going out very much right yeah i mean i'm i'm gonna be here uh and uh probably if i have to i'll order groceries luckily we work from home so um Yes, I think we're lucky in that aspect. Yes, like we don't have to. People still have to go to work and shit. And our child is homeschooled, so so we are uh, we're gonna lock down. We're in lockdown mode. (laughs) All right, guys, thanks for listening to the show. Make sure you uh, go to our website, uh, thatbitcoinshow.com or euclidandoaks.com, and uh, whatever. I have all my shit there, so check it out. All right, guys, thanks for listening. This has been another episode of That Bitcoin Show with Euclid and Oaks. Actually, I've changed the name to Euclid and Oaks presents That Bitcoin Show. Are you kidding? I just added Euclid and Oaks to the beginning. so. So you're not kidding. Huh? So Euclid and Oaks presents that, that Bitcoin, Bitcoin show. show. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's now it. we know. That kind of merging our old show with this one. Love it. All right, bye everyone. Thanks for listening. Bye.